ABC 17 News investigates safety concerns on Columbia's public transit system. The city combined bus routes this time last year, and drivers and passengers say the overcrowding has led to unsafe conditions. ABC 17's Morgan Burrish has been digging into city records and shows us more about what's been happening on GoComo Transit. This is surveillance video I got from the city that shows punches being thrown in the back of a city bus last month. Now, something that might even stand out more than the fight is just how many people there are on this bus. You can see their shoulder to shoulder standing room only. I spoke with a GoComo bus driver who tells me this type of overcrowding on the buses is leading to more safety issues. A driver for Go Como says belligerent passenger behavior has been getting worse and thinks the city needs to crack down. They're sliding. People are now uh, trying to smoke on the bus and all, vape on the bus, because nobody is doing anything. The driver, who wanted to stay anonymous for fear of losing their job, says the worst is the orange route, regularly traveling from Turning Point Day Center to the Ashley Street Center. Both services for homeless people. That's the route passenger Gregory Sylvie was on when a fight broke out on July 25th. It was overcrowded. People are, are already hot and they're very moody and, you know, they're trying to get somewhere. The driver can be seen radioing dispatch before the two men get off the bus. Let's go! Incident reports I got from the city detail the situation, with the driver writing, quote, I was very afraid. Please take me off that route, end quote. The bus driver I spoke with says it's incidents like these that are causing drivers to get fed up. They want to go home at night and not wind up in the hospital or in the morgue. Other incident reports detail instances of passengers punching drivers, cussing at drivers, and being drunk on the bus. What would you say the main overarching problem is? Is it overcrowding? Is it safety? Is it homelessness? Safety. Safety. Because of fighting on the bus. Bus rides have been free since the pandemic, which the driver says has resulted in people staying on the bus all day to get in the air conditioning or out of the rain. They say there are sometimes over 50 people on a single bus, which passengers believe poses a safety concern. The bus will stop real quick with people standing up in it. Somebody's going to get hurt. The city says safety is its top priority, but Public Works spokesperson John Ogan says the overcrowding is not unsafe. What we're seeing on the buses with the current state is still within safety parameters or what you might see in other cities. The city combined routes last year due to a shortage of bus drivers. Ogan tells me there are currently 32 drivers, but at least four more are needed before GoComo can offer more routes. Any forward-thinking steps that could help ease people's minds when it comes to bus safety? At this time, uh, considering staffing and budgetary uh, needs, uh, what we have is being deployed in the appropriate ways. But the driver believes more can be done, including bringing back fares for passengers. That way we stop people from just riding the bus all day long, taking up the room for the people that are going back and forth to work. Columbia City Council said in a meeting last month that bus rides will remain free at the start of fiscal year 25, but that will be evaluated throughout the year. Well, thank you, Morgan. The city does contract with Citadel Security at its bus station downtown.